I'm Squish the Ninja and I hope you're having a great day. So today I'm going to be doing a teach me video. I'm going to be teaching Ryan here about horror movies. Something I have no clue whatsoever about. What's your biggest fear? This is going to sound really cringy but Losing the people closest to me. Oh, that's that's cute. That's not cringy. And that includes this one. Ah, lovely. I don't even know what my biggest fear is. Probably getting old. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to be young forever. That's what I want to be. I just want to live forever. <laughs> so on to horror movies. So do you have a favourite horror movie? Not really, because I don't watch them. But technically, I do class the Nightmare Before Christmas as a horror. It's, okay, it's yeah, scary it's, to me. it's like horror themed. Yeah, I'll give you that. I think my favourite horror movie is The Evil Dead, the original, not the remake. The original Evil Dead is all, all the visual effects are handmade mm -hmm. and it had really low budget. And I think what they did with the budget and what they did with the handmade crafts looked really cool, while the remake looks like a more modern traditional horror film. That's a dog. That's my dog. Oh yeah, I didn't get to meet your dog yet. <laughs> Shall I go meet the doggo? Yeah, let's go meet the doggo because I'm gonna. I'm gonna meet the doggo. I'm gonna meet the doggo. <laughs> Do you remember the first horror movie you ever watched? Uh, well, Miss Call, I think it was. Oh called. yes, I've seen that one. Was it the Hollywood one? That was it, the Japanese one. Definitely wasn't the Japanese one. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I'll be honest. It wasn't like especially scary, but. I loved it. How old were you when you watched it? 19. 19? <laughs> oh, you were 19 when you watched the first horror. Were you just scared of horror movies? I was scared of Scooby fucking Doo. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would explain. So my first horror movie was The Sixth Sense. I think I was about 11 or 12 when I saw that. I didn't watch that many horror movies when I was a teenager. The one I remember like the most is uh, House of Wax. Have you seen that? Uh, no. I've like, only seen one what you'd class as a horror and that would be one Miss Scott. Okay, we need to watch some horror movies. So, I have some trivia here, which you're not allowed to look at because I'm going to give you a test at the end. So, when do you think that the first horror movie was ever released? Movie? Hmm. Oh, first horror film. Maybe like 1920, 1930? Okay, so it's definitely earlier than that. Really? Yes. So the first horror movie was released in 1898. But there wow. is debate about which movie was the first horror movie because there is, I'm not going to pronounce this right, it is French, Le, <laughs> La Caverne Maudite. And that was hailed as the first ever, ever horror movie. But there were actually two horror movies released in Japan in that year as well. Bake Jizo, which is in English, uh, Jizo the Spook. There was also Shinin no Suze which is Resurrection of a Corpse. They were wow. both released in 1898. So 1898 was like the year for horror movies. So the earliest horror movie that I've seen or a movie with horror elements in is a movie called Unchien and And the whole thing is on YouTube. It's only 10 minutes long, but it is famous for one particular scene which tends to gross people out, where an eye gets a paper cut. <laughs> The way that they made that is really interesting because they got a cow's eye, like had a shot of the person, had a shot of the like paper cut going towards their eye and then a close up to the cow's eye and the paper cut. And you can see if you like pause it or if you slow it down that it's a, not a human eye. It's still an eye getting cooked and open. I don't want to see that. <laughs> so the highest grossing film um, horror movie of all time is It the remake. Yeah, I heard that took quite a lot in its, in its first weekend. Yeah, in its first weekend it took just over 123 million dollars. Wow. In its first the weekend. The greater the remake must be some bloody money. But overall it's grossed just in America as well. I don't know how much it's grossed worldwide, but just in America it grossed 266,096,375 dollars. That surpassed a film that had been the top grossing horror film of all time for quite a while, um, The Exorcist. The Exorcist was also the first horror film to ever be nominated for an Oscar. Really? Yeah, 
it won Best Picture. It stayed the top grossing horror film since it came out in the 70s, isn't that insane? So for the fact that it stayed the top grossing from the 1970s right up to 2017. Yeah, that's insane. That's longer than I've been alive. Yes. And then it was like, nope, I'm gonna make more money than you. It was released on the 16th of March, 1974. Well over 40 years. Yeah. Wow. That is insane. And it's still a good movie today. Like, if you watch it today, like, you can tell it's not, like, a modern movie, but it's still really good. It's still, like, a quality movie. Hey. Other little facts and stuffs. Frankenstein is obviously a thing that you've heard of. Everyone has heard of Frankenstein. Obviously, it was originally a book. I dressed up as him for three Halloweens in a row when I was a kid. I mean, the internet is all going to correct you there. Do you want to correct yourself first? What do you mean correct myself first? I knew I did ha um, Frankenstein for at least three years. Don't know whether it was three years in a row, but... Did you actually... I know it was twice. I know it was at least twice. The internet is going to get... I'm going to get you... Right. Did you dress up as Frankenstein or did you dress up as Frankenstein's monster? Frankenstein's monster. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Frankenstein is the evil scientist. Who ah, right, Frankenstein's right, right. monster. First Frankenstein movie got released in 1910. Wow. Yeah, there has been a lot of Frankenstein movies over the years. Um, the first one was 100 years ago. 108 years 108 ago. years ago, yeah. It's just crazy, it's just crazy how like old film is, but also like it doesn't feel that old. Like, exactly. Also, the first vampire movie was a German movie called Nosferatu, well, it was released in 1922. So Nosferatu was based on Bram Stoker's Dracula. I sort of fears at the time when Nosferatu came out were all about like kind of similar to a lot of the fears in the world at the moment which I would, I'm gonna point out, I'm not scared of but lots of people are scared of like immigration and like people from different countries coming in and invading their country and stuff. And that is what was the fear at the time. Nosferatu is based in Transylvania. Part of the horror is being like uh, someone who is like very different to the people who you're used to and the like people that you're normally around and stuff yeah. like that. That's what like horror films play on a lot is like fears of the society in general. Jumping very far forward in time um, to sort of modern day. We have a lot more horror movies that include like sci-fi elements, robots, technology, how fast technology is developing and social media and what effect all that type of stuff has on our lives. That is like a societal worry at the moment so that's being included in a lot of horror movies right now. Like for request? Yes. Um, that's one of them. On to another bit. Ba, ba, ba. So just a few other like main horror movies through the years. This isn't a very deep, it would take us a long time to go into a lot of detail about like all of horror in general, even though I'd love to do that. But The Blair Witch Project is one that you've probably heard of. Uh, Maybe? No, actually. You haven't? Okay, so The Blair Witch Project um, started a whole new genre of um, horror movies. It was made in the 90s. It used found footage, so that's like handheld cameras and stuff, and that created a whole new genre, and that's held like a classic, even though audience opinions tend to be quite mixed about it, because yeah. some people don't like how low budget it is, and how um, like shaky the cameras and stuff are, because they're just handheld. Have you heard of the films Psycho, Silence of the Lambs, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Texas Chainsaw Massacre, yes. Mm -hmm. Psycho, no, and Return of the Lambs, no. Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs, no. Have you heard of Hannibal Lecter? Uh, that I have heard of, yeah. Okay, so Hannibal Lecter is the serial killer from Silence of the Lambs. They're all made by different people, those movies, but they have a thing in common, which is they were all based off one real life serial killer. Really? Yes. Um, so the serial killer. Must is... have been some brutal stuff done if you can make more than one film off of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're inspired by the serial killer, so it's not. They're not all like accurate story, like stories. Yeah, not all. They're just like, but they're just. There must have been enough to give enough inspiration for multiple films. Yes. Yeah. So his name was Ed Gein. The police and detectives and stuff found this is his home at Plainfield, Wisconsin, in America. Um, there were four noses, just noses, just on their own. 
four noses, nine masks made out of human skin, numerous decapitated heads, lampshades and bowls made out of skin, lips being used as a pole on a window shade. Oh wow. And a belt made from nipples. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> just give me a minute. I might have killed him. I'm sorry. I just don't like the thought of my lips being used as a pole on a window. In the 80s there was a really big thing of body horror, which you should look up at some point. I feel like if I show you now you might be sick. <laughs> but uh I'm already feeling queasy as it is. Yeah, Bet better not show me it now. Yeah, I won't. David Cronenberg is a horror director and he is very famous for body horror and it's mostly like visual effects which are made like by hand, fake blood and like uh, lots of like prosthetics and stuff like that. That sort of genre peaked really in the 80s. Nowadays everything mostly is done by like CGI and mm -hmm. uh, special effects and stuff like that. Some movies do try and mix and match having some like handmade visual effects and some like CGI special effects. It's very difficult to try and like fit lots of information about horror into a short video when there is so much to talk about. It's been a great learning experience. Maybe want to avoid some of the films that you have mentioned. <laughs> okay, before we finish though, I want to see if you have learned things. Oh god. I'm going to give you a trivia test on things that I have told you about. What is the highest grossing horror movie of all time? At the moment it's it. Yes. What year was the first horror movie? The debate is 1998. Yes! That is so well remembered. That's really good. Which movies were based or inspired by Ed Gein, the real life serial killer? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yes. No idea for the second one. I just focus on being able to give you at least one answer. Okay, well you did okay. Uh, so Silence of the Lambs Silence is another one, and okay. also Psycho. There you go, that's the end of the questions. You got two out of three, so that's pretty good. I would say you'd like to the <laughs> Do you think you'll watch any more horror movies now that you know a little bit more about them or not really? Just Maybe if I've got the right person by my side. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, go subscribe to Ryan's channel. Which will be linked down below. Yeah. And please subscribe to my channel, give it a thumb up if you liked it, if you like this style of video please let me know in the comments or let me know with a thumb up. Comment below who you want her to do this sort of video with next. Yes, that would be great. Who would you like me to do a teach me with next? Press the bell if you want to get notifications, they sometimes work, they sometimes don't, who knows, it's <laughs> YouTube. Press that anyway if you want to get notified when I make videos because I don't post, 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 <laughs> I don't post all that often, uh, so it'll be good if you got notified. Not yeah, it'll be good if you get notified when you do. Also, follow me on my other social medias, which are linked down at the bottom. I post a lot on Instagram, so you should go see me there. Okay, that's it for this video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs>